do not forget why we are doing research in the first place. We are here to ask a question. We are here to devise a series of methods and approaches and uh, study and investigation in order to find out the truth. We are, we are trying to understand and generate knowledge. Do not forget that. If you remember what research is for, then the rest of it is about doing it well and doing it with, uh, in a trustworthy way. I always worked in uh, research and uh, when I was a researcher, ethics and integrity was around me. Uh, so in a sense, while I never studied ethics and research integrity, I practiced it, like most researchers do. Research operates in a complex system. It's an interrelationship between funders, researchers, institutions, rules, policies, etc. And we need to understand where we fit in that. I think for me, there are initiatives that really speak to opening up research. So making the research process more transparent, more accountable. Um, and again, um, publishers have a role to play there by really supporting and listening to communities and, and, and supporting that open research. Some of the predecessors, you know, the more established researchers have set up these various assessment, incentive system, as well as uh, research culture. We are part of it, you know, we are in it. Whether you're old or young, you are in it. If you know what you're going for, stick to it. If you stick to it, the rest will fall. Be true to uh, the nature of research itself. If they follow the principles of good ethics and research integrity, their research becomes better. It's not only a tick box approach. Yes, I've done that. Yes, I got the ethics approval. Yes, I have a data management plan. No, all these activities are not a red tape mechanism. It's a mechanism that makes the research more socially relevant. Open research is really about opening up um, research, so it makes it more open, more transparent, more accountable, and with that comes greater reproducibility. So people look to it as a little bit like the future of research, but really it's the here and now. And, and if we do that here and now, um, we are really um, speaking towards greater integrity, and I think everybody has a, has a role to play in that. It's also important to give trainings, to do prevention, to give advice, to people and that's mainly what we are focusing on like prevention raising awareness training but also doing the investigations on research misconduct we've put together a new program which enables us to look in the assessment process not only at research excellence in relation to the training but also in relation to the cultural context so our international panel is specifically looking at these two factors side by side and having excellence in science will not be sufficient. It's necessary, but it will not be sufficient. So we can um, support the sharing of data, we can develop open data policies, um, people are interested in, in opening up the peer review process, um, making it more transparent, and of course, recognising researchers when they have done great things and, and signposting that open research um, through um, putting badges on articles. Because the topic is very exciting, it's uh, socially relevant, and you can do a lot to help uh, young researchers or researchers, and you can help promote the research endeavor in a time where everybody's fighting for uh, funds, the distribution is not easy, and research is sometimes under attack from, let's say, fake news. Even in places where the scientific training is, is excellent, there are still some challenges around the cultural aspects. And those relate to things like how do individuals get into PhD programs, how do their careers develop subsequently, so how are those transitions supported. Varying qualities and experiences of being trained and experiencing themselves, good research or, or lack of good research practices, thinking about mental health of students, um, and thinking about um, more generally how the whole experience of a student evolves to better reflect the way that uh, science, research and careers are evolving. What we say in uh, Horizon is that there is no excellence without ethics and research integrity. And we really mean it. And the member states also uh, said the same thing in the 2015 Council conclusions on research integrity. 
So it's not only the people that deal with science directly, like us as policy and funders and the researchers, but now the issue is becoming extremely visible and important at the policy level. For a young researcher, obviously you are a beginner. You certainly do not feel that you are alone. In fact, if you are a beginner, in fact, you have even more opportunity to ask and to do things not necessarily in the right way, but this is where you are learning. But perhaps my message is also for those people who are not necessarily young, but maybe contributing to research or even in a more leadership position. You are not alone. The problems you face as an experienced researcher or even a leader other people have faced the same thing. You have your community to help you and do things together with you. Yeah. So we walk together.